Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video here on my channel today. We've moved on to chapter 9 of Too Hot to Handle the Game and I'm so excited to see what happens. We've only got I think 8 parts left so we're really getting through it now. In today's part, episode 9, chapter 33, you caught a new couple making out but is it lust or could it be a meaningful emotional connection? Time to find out. If you don't remember in the last part as well, we caught Sarah and Dakota making out behind a bush. And if you haven't seen the rest of the series, check them out in the i button. But thank you so much for watching and let's crack on. Sarah, Dakota, your jaw drops as they ignore you. They didn't even hear me call their names. They're too busy kissing. But wow, did I see this couple coming? Am I surprised about this pairing? Yeah, we saw it coming. Did we though? Now that I think about it, they were always stealing glances at one another. You hear someone groan, so you take a step back. Oh, things are getting a little hot and heavy in there. I better leave them to it. A few minutes later, you're sitting alone in the living room thinking about what you just saw. Should I tell the rest of the group? I guess it's not really my business. And who knows, maybe their watch has turned green? Just then, Alex enters the room and sits beside you. Hey, Amber, you okay? I'm good. I'm just doing some thinking. Do you want me to leave you to it? No, that's okay. Hmm, then I should do something to make you smile. Do you want to hear a joke or a funny story? I'd like to hear... Let's hear a funny story. A story, please. Okay, so once upon a time, there was someone named Alex. They were worried they wouldn't have a place to sleep tonight. You laugh and then smile. I think I know a place where you can sleep tonight. Alex feigned surprise. Was it that obvious that I was telling a story about myself? A little bit, but I'm happy to share my bed. I was hoping you'd say that. You stand up and hold out a hand. Let's get some rest. Sounds good to me. You wake up to the sound of Lana turning on. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Lana. Morning. What good news do you have for us today? More like bad. When does Lana ever have good news? Lana doesn't keep you waiting for long. I have an announcement to make. Could everyone please get dressed and head to the cabana? Uh-oh. I think I know what that's about. You sneak a peek at Dakota and Sarah. You aren't surprised to see how guilty the two of them look. They look like they've got a secret. If their watch has turned green, I don't think they'd be nervous now. You stand up and stretch and head for the dressing room. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Once everyone is gathered at the cabana, Lana lights up and makes her announcement. I have more rule breaks to announce. Yesterday, there were multiple rule breaks. Multiple, what is going on? Two kisses which have cost the group $12,000. Whoa, so we're now we're down to 150, 149,000? At least we got another 100 stars though for losing 50K of prize money. Your prize fund currently stands at $149,000. What? So someone broke the rules twice in one day? I thought we were over this. Or maybe it was two couples who did it? I don't no, I'd take a punt on one couple. But who was it? A few people eyed you and Alex suspiciously. Hey, don't look at me. We didn't do anything. Amber's right. It wasn't them. Everyone turns to her in shock and she sighs. It was Dakota and me. We made out both times. Wow, so it must have been them in the showers. I caught them twice. What are the odds? Everyone turns to look at them and starts talking at once. I can't believe you two. You've lost us over 10 grand. Seriously, that's a lot of money. Don't you have regard for anyone but yourselves? The crowd keeps getting louder and louder. But then Sarah gets up and whistles. Would you all shut up? I don't care what you have to say about me and Dakota. I care about that girl a lot. And if I want to kiss her, I will. A shocked Dakota stands up. You... You care about me. Sarah looks surprised that the confession came out of her mouth. But then her face breaks into a grin. Hell yeah, I do. I have for a long time. I like you too. You, you do? Yes. I was just so afraid to say it because I thought I didn't have a chance. What are you talking about? I thought I didn't have a shot with you. Silly. Of course you do. They both smile and their watches turn green. Whoa, go you two. Dakota and Sarah instantly run to each other and start kissing. Aw, what should I do? I'm gonna clap for them. Just make it really awkward. Moved by the scene, you stand up and start clapping. Woohoo! Go Sarah and Dakota! After a moment, everyone else starts to clap too. The watches turn off again and everyone congratulates the happy couple. Congratulations, you two. You are adorable together. Hell yeah, we are. Thanks, Amber. Just as the excitement dies down, Jada suddenly stands up. Wait, I have something to say. This, um, 
inspired me. When she has everyone's attention, she takes a deep breath. I came here looking for a special connection. I jumped into things way too quickly with Justin. And well, I guess we all know how that turned out. But then I met Carter and he seemed too good to be true. Jada turns to Carter and smiles. I was scared, but now I know I had no reason to be. She pauses as she gathers all her courage. Carter, I know I've been keeping my distance from you lately, but I think I'm finally ready to make peace with my feelings. I used to be afraid, but I'm not anymore. I have Lana to thank for that. Lana also helped me realize that I shouldn't be afraid of such strong emotional connection. And that when I find it, I should just grab it with both hands. She takes in a deep breath and smiles at Carter. What I'm saying is, do you want us to give it a shot, Carter? Wow, what a speech. Jada has really made some emotional growth. I wonder what Carter's gonna do. Carter slowly gets up and walks towards Jada. And then he takes her hands and looks at her as if she's the only person in the world right now. Of course I wanna give us a shot. You're all I want, Jada. I'm just so lucky you're willing to even look at me. Jada smiles wide and falls into his arms. Don't be daft, Carter. I care about you. They hug and everyone else cheers. Come on, Lana, turn their watches green. They're practically mauling each other with their eyes. Yeah, put them out of their misery. Lana lights up as everyone laughs. Jada and Carter. Oh, yes, Lana. I have noticed you have both demonstrated emotional growth since the day you met. Despite your challenges, you have shown you are willing to work on your relationship, and this shows strength in your deepening connection. You have taken your relationship to the next level and unlocked a night alone in the private suite. Oh, that's so good for them. I'm always so happy for them. Despite Jada being an absolute pain in the beginning, I feel like she has found her right person and her and Carter are just a little bit too cute together. That being said, because of Sarah and Dakota, we did end up losing $12,000 in this episode. We also heard a funny story from Alex, like 41% of people, we chose the funny story and we clapped for Sarah's love confession. Unlike 14% of people who were just silent and 20% of people who told them to get a room. Thank you so much for watching this episode, everyone. I am going to be doing more Too Hot to Handle and getting to the end of the series, as well as some announcements for some future series over here. And if you like live streams on YouTube, I think I've got something in the works that might just work for you. Keep an eye on the community tab and keep an eye on the comments as well. I will see you in the next episode. Everyone have an amazing rest of your day. Please remember to like this video if you haven't already and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.